Alright guys, how's it going? So I'm having a few beers, I'm watching the football, I'm watching Scotland lose again. <laughs> and up pops in my Twitter feed that Google has now released a new machine learning tool that essentially lets you generate creatures, well, I think that's probably the best way to describe it, and it's called Chimera Painter. Now, I'm going to be straight up and honest about this. It's not very good, to be honest. <laughs> it's quite buggy in a lot of places. In fact, I actually had to use Internet Explorer. Take example here, when I try to clear the scene, nothing actually happens. Now, I can go to the razor tool and I can erase, but when I go to the large brush, nothing happens. So, that's kind of shit, to be honest. But, this is actually quite a good tool, especially if you're creating characters or creatures and you just need to work something out in your head or you just need some inspiration. Now, one thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to load up a black PNG. So you can see here, I essentially have a blank canvas. Now, I suppose we better start with the head. Now, I'm using the hue and tablet. Now, this kind of gave me an idea as well. So I'm just going to quickly draw a head. So I'll just draw something like this. And obviously, we need some teeth. So I'll select some teeth. Let's give it something like this. And... Yeah, let's give it some horns, so obviously horns are horn shaped, uh, and let's give it some ears, we'll just give it a quick ear like this, maybe something like that, obviously a couple of eyes, let's draw something, <laughs> that's terrible, and let's give it a kind of nose, so let's give it some kind of big nose, and let's give it a neck, and obviously we need something like, let's give it a wing, let's give it a big huge wing like this. Let's give it another wing. And obviously we need a kind of torso slash back, so let's give it a torso here. Now, is there a torso front? Yep. So we'll draw in a quick torso. We'll give it upper legs. Something like this. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. Let's give it some claws as well. I don't know what they are. And let's give it a tail. My god, this is horrible. And all we need to do is hit transform, and let's see what we get. This is going to be absolutely disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it didn't quite work, let's be honest here. So, maybe we need to learn how to work this application, because some of the images getting posted on Twitter are pretty cool, to be honest. So, I'm going to try and clear this. Let's, it's buggy as hell, so let's load in the PNG again. Now, one thing that I actually did think about is... You could probably actually use the same colours in Photoshop and you could get much more refinement. But I'm going to start again, so I'm going to draw a head. Let's, so let's just think of something basic. Okay, a head. Let's give it a torso front. Let's give it upper legs front. So something like this. Upper legs back, so you would assume it would be like this. Let's give it teeth. Let's give it a quick neck, and let's see what the transform does. Now, obviously, this is using machine learning, and it's... <laughs> I've just made a walking penis. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this needs a lot of work, to be honest, but it's just the start of this. Now, there's plenty of other kind of UI creation tools, especially when you're doing things like landscape. It seems to work a lot better. So... Yeah, it definitely needs work. Now, if you're needing something to generate, I don't know, a walking penis, this could be the application for you. Do me a favour, guys, like your video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter. Support me on Gumroad. You know what to do. <laughs> Take care. Oh my god, I'm gonna help.